Welcome back everybody, the San Diego Comic Con trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters just dropped, so let's have a look at the trailer together and then I'll share some of my thoughts. Our world is changing. The mass extinction we feared has already begun and we are the cause. We are the infection. Like all living organisms, the Earth unleashed a fever to fight this infection. Its original and rightful rulers, the Titans. For thousands of years, these creatures have remained in hiding around the world. And unless all the Titans are found, our planet will perish, and so will we. They are the only guarantee that life will carry on. the king. So it looks like they're going for the human connection again because that worked so well in the first one with what's his face. I love Godzilla and that movie put me to sleep on multiple occasions as in I tried to rewatch it and I kept falling asleep. I don't know maybe my blood pressure was really low that day. Anyways 11, I mean Millie Bobby Brown, the actress from Stranger Things that everybody loved a couple of years ago and seemed to despise all of a sudden now that she's uber popular and a little bit full of herself due to becoming an overnight sensation is our gateway into this world. Based on this family photo, 11's older brother probably died during a scuba diving accident. This has caused a rift between her parents. Her parents focus on their careers leaving her to fend for herself but she's always felt that she was born for something special. It looks like they found some nice art under the sea. Based on Seven's mum's monologue she seems to have it all worked out. I'm guessing she's a marine biologist with a PhD in the History Channel's Ancient Aliens. Maybe it's a long lost civilization, Atlantis, aliens, flat earthers, I don't know. But these titans seem to be in some sort of stasis, either captured or hibernating. I guess every certain amount of years, you pick a number, they wake up and do battle and all of our fates lie on Godzilla's capability of defeating his misfit brothers and sisters. I do like the fact that it looks like Godzilla has been hitting the gym. He looks swole as you know what, but not as swole as Kylo Ren. Godzilla has also taken a liking to the color fluorescent blue. I've always wondered how he manages to do this. Is he vomiting or does he like create nuclear fusion in his tummy? Because if that's the case, all of our energy problems could be solved. We give him unlimited amount of fish to eat and in return he powers all of our street lights. Eleven seems to have special powers here as well. She's a titan whisperer. Based on what her mum's been saying, these titans are the only thing that can stop global warming and throw Trump out of office. But that's beside the point. We all know we'll be waiting two and a half hours for Godzilla to throw down with King Ghidorah, Godzilla's dad who abandoned him when he was just an egg. So there you have peoples who's looking forward to Godzilla, King of the Monsters only on pay-per-view. Leave your thoughts down below as always. Thanks for dropping by and for your continued support. Don't forget to like, share, sub and all of that good stuff. And until next time, see us.